How's it going everybody? My name of course is SystemZ and in spirit of the newly released 1.13, I'm going to be showing you a couple of designs for furniture both inside and outside your house. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Alright guys, so for this video I have gone ahead and separated all of these designs into their own respective groups and types. So for example we have tables here, we have beds over here, couches and chairs over there, storage units and of course miscellaneous for exterior and interior designs. Now there are plenty of designs out there in the community so I really can't have them all. These are just a couple of cool designs I picked up over my years of playing Minecraft and kind of tweaked for 1.13. So they're really really cool and I really hope you like them. Let's go ahead and get started with tables. So there is one huge change that 1.13 brought us and that is different types of trap doors, most notably the spruce trap door, which is probably my favorite block now because you can do things like this. You can now make tables straight out of those spruce trap doors. That's the tabletop, whereas a fence post is the leg. This honestly looks so much better than the different designs that we had before, like the standard fence post and, of course, pressure plate. This just looks so much more well-balanced, in my opinion. And, of course, we even had the really old design here where you use a piston with a carpet on top. That really stopped kind of around 1.8, though, because it really doesn't look that good, to be honest. But this... This looks amazing. I mean, before we could do this here, we could use stairs to make a, you know, a table. And honestly, they both look good, but this one just seems a little bit more balanced. And honestly, the trapdoors don't even stop there. You can even use them as legs themselves. And basically, doing this here makes a very nice little desk table or a little side hallway table. And honestly, I think it looks amazing. It looks a lot better than before where you had to use stairs as the legs. It just looks a little bit more natural, honestly. A little bit more modern as well. And any of those combined with a really nice dining room chair looks absolutely amazing. And like I said before, there are tons of designs out there, especially for tables. So I didn't really want to focus on that today. But that is definitely one of the biggest changes that 1.13 has brought us with the different trap doors. Moving on, we have kind of more uses for those trap doors with beds. These are a couple of my favorite bed designs here, and this one is kind of the standard queen design, where you do a couple of pieces of wool here, you know, the same color carpet, even white wool there, and then snow on top for a pillow. This just looks extremely comfortable, and then you can even do different sizes, like this little full size here. That's one thing that I really like about it, is it's extremely modularistic. Now this one, however, is extremely creative. This is basically a messy unmade bed and it's kind of the same concept. I've just placed the carpet and red wool in different places. This is supposed to look like, you know, maybe a, a room that is not really well kept and just kind of messily made and, you know, just kind of ruffled around in a way. And this is kind of good for those really small details, especially if you were to do it in kind of a, you know, college dorm type build. I think this one is spectacular. And this one moving on is a new design with 1.13, kind of adapted by a previous design, which is a bed, uh, or be bunk bed rather, I can't say that apparently. <laughs> but we basically got trap doors here supporting our beds and it actually allows you to sleep very nicely. Obviously I can't sleep here, it's daytime, but uh, with a nice wall beside it, it should allow you to sleep there very easily. I think this looks really, really good and can help fit, you know, a nice bed space in a very, very small room. Now, moving on, if you have a huge room, you can do this canopy bed, which, again, really doesn't have anything different from previous designs other than the newly created full oak wood blocks. These are absolutely really, really cool. I know you've been able to do them before, but now we can actually get them in survival mode, which is extremely cool. But similarly, we have the trap doors up top, making an overhead that looks really, really nice. This is very clean and overall very modern. And a bonus tip, whenever you have flowers, I really recommend that you match the color with whatever theme you're going with in your room. It really helps tie everything together. Next up, we have two different variants of smaller beds, basically normal beds that have just kind of been decorated. This is meant to look like a baby's cradle, which I think is pretty good. It's definitely good for a smaller, you know, child's room in a house. And then we've got a normal bed with a headboard and a baseboard. And I actually really like the way this looks. It's definitely pretty cool. And if we had spruce, like, signs, 
that would be really cool and that would add a lot to it. But you can really do any color here and this will look pretty cool. But that is basically all I've got for beds. Let's go ahead and move on to storage. Now storage is very important because in any build you really have to find ways to fill up the walls instead of them being blank with different shelving units. And this is extremely important whenever you're building interior and can really make or break the room. Now this first one is a very basic one. It's l honestly my least favorite because there's no creativity to it. It's just basic stairs and slabs. What I normally like to do instead of this is lower it down by one and have the block on the inside. Now you don't even technically have to do this. It's just a nice little way to you know, lower it down. Instead of using a half slab, you can have a full block and place something on top of it, which really just adds to the detail in my opinion. And it also just kind of looks a little bit better you know, with size. So I definitely recommend this one over this one here. Now you can even do something like uh, full blocks there instead, but I'm not going to do that here just to kind of preserve what it's at right now. Then we've also got a wardrobe, which is very basic, a design that's really been used before. However, now with the spruce wood, we can kind of have it away from a wall, though typically you would have it against a wall anyways. And up next, this is actually a design that I've used a little bit more recently in my best survival home in Minecraft video, which I really recommend you guys check out. Basically, if you've got a basic pole in a modern build, make a couple of divots in there and place some items in it, because it really honestly looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, I definitely recommend it for any modern room, and even some, you know, normal suburban homes could fit this in. Definitely, definitely one of my favorites. Now, this one is a design that I actually got from a viewer of mine, Nice Ice. If you're watching, shout out to you. Nova says hello. <laughs> uh, that's my dog, by the way. It happens to be their favorite animal. But uh, anyways, <laughs> this is a design that they sent to me on Twitter, and I really, really like it. It's a pretty cool shelving unit. Uh, got a basic flower pot here and a player head in there. But really, it's another example of the many possibilities we now have with the trap doors. Basically, use them, using them as walls and legs. And if you look at any book shelf usually the you know walls aren't really going to be that thick so this actually looks a little bit better than your old standard bookcases and these designs are actually pretty cool here basically nightstands or even a dishwasher if you really think about it because of the way this looks here uh, using a birch trap door you can get a pretty cool look there but this is actually something I made a long time ago one of my first building videos in fact this is a basic nightstand slash cabinet using a banner and doing a couple of designs for borders on it using I believe it's ink sacks and then brown uh, coca beans or whatever you can actually make a really cool outline there to look like a proper uh, like shelving door and even here we have a handle built out of a trap door which is pretty cool and since it's a full block you can put really whatever you'd like on it this looks amazing beside beds so I really recommend giving this a shot and this is a dresser design as well that I think looks pretty cool kind of something a lot of people have done with filing cabinets however instead of using signs for the edges we use trap doors. You probably see that this whole video is mainly about these trap doors, but they are extremely useful, so what can I say? But yeah, this one looks pretty cool. And then these two are very unique. We now have bucket possibilities. This one is basically a hay bale, a couple of trap doors surrounding it. Makes it look pretty cool. You can really put these in any busy medieval area and it can look pretty cool. Then we've also got a bucket of water, which looks really, really cool in my opinion. And if you get something like a sea lantern or even just some basic glowstone, you can even use it to hide lighting in a room that would shine very brightly. So that's a very cool way to get some lighting in a hidden alleyway. Up uh, next we have couches and chairs and I'm not really going to spend too much time on these because again there are so many different designs for couches and chairs on the internet but we definitely have a couple that I'd love to show off. This one again using the trap doors for the arms of a couch. I actually do like this one quite a bit because it looks a little bit more thin and not so bulky so that can really help your interior just by doing that. Now this one's a little bit more of a modern shape. It actually follows the same shape my own couch does in my own living room in real life so that's kind of cool. I guess that's why I did that <laughs> but we've also got basic chairs you can really do anything with this design it's extremely modularistic so I really recommend you give that a shot as well and then we have two different chair designs now these are actually very simple this is just a couple of trap doors again spruce but you could also do a spruce door instead or really any door that you'd like with a red banner on it and of course you can do that any color you'd like as well basic slab with some signs I think that looks very good for like a dining room table this one is my own design of a bar stool and I think it looks pretty cool we basically got a trap door with a sign placed against it by holding shift on top of a piston it's just the perfect height for some sort of bar and 
it's actually able to be sat on, which is pretty cool. Now, even this looks pretty good, in my opinion. So you could do that as well. But I like to do it like that, make that kind of the cushion. And of course, up next, we actually have a really modern couch design, which honestly looks extremely weird. But it is something I've used in the past actually more recently as well, again, in that best survival home in Minecraft. So again, check out that video. But yeah, we've basically got snow layers here to get really any size of couch cushion that we like. The only problem is you can't put lighting beside it because it will melt. Now for the arms, I actually used stained glass panes, which looks a little weird, but it looks really good in overly modern settings, especially in outdoor furniture type settings. So I really recommend trying that outside. And if you're inside, this is a really nice modern design, basically using gray wool, but the same concept. It's all about the shape when you're building modern, but snow layers actually give you a nice customizable height, and then you can even do pillows in the corners, and of course, even use glass uh, blocks here for the table, which looks pretty good. And now we have the miscellaneous aisle. <laughs> These are just a couple of extras that I've also picked up and kind of thought about on the spot for this video. This one is a very commonly used lamp design with a player head, but if you're in survival, you can do a normal quartz slab there, really any type of slab, to make a very nice lampshade. And of course, light is actually given off by these here. The only problem is the particles, so that's not very good. This one, you're probably looking at like, what in the world, Z? What is that? This is actually really cool. This is a modern piece of art. Only if you look at it a certain way. You gotta turn your head to do that. <laughs> no, not really. But yeah, something I've been experimenting with lately is using different wall materials like glass panes, iron bars, all that kind of stuff to make, you know, very interesting abstract art. And I'd love to see it if you give it a shot. So make sure to send any photos you do on Twitter because this could be very cool, but I'm still kind of working on this concept. But I really, really recommend it. Don't rely on paintings alone because you can do a lot of cool stuff with these types of blocks. And of course, with the new item frame functionality, we can do plates and all kinds of other things. I know one of the things Good Times with Scar recently did in one of his uh, Hermitcraft videos is he got a little bit of gold and basically did the same thing using trap doors to make a barrel of gold, really, which actually looks pretty good in my opinion. So I definitely recommend you guys check that out from Good Times with Scar, of course, because he's a very, very talented builder. These are actually really cool. I'm gonna patent this, although I probably didn't come up with it. <laughs> so therefore, I'm not gonna patent it. This is actually very cool. Functional trash cans. This is a very interesting design that is actually really easy to do. We basically have hopper mine carts here, spitting them out through a dropper mechanism that just spits it into the lava. This is very simple to do and actually great for survival because you have a functional and visually pleasing trash can and recycling bin. So I really recommend you give that a shot, guys. And let me know if you'd like a separate tutorial, even though it'd probably only be like 50 seconds long. Up next, we have a legacy design on the channel. This is actually one of the first designs that I did that really helped boost my channel and helped it grow. And I really got to give a shout out to OMG Chad for this because honestly, he saw the design and he made a video about it, which really contributed to the growth of the channel in its early stages. But anyways, this is a great exterior piece. It is a grill, simply put using the cabinet designs that I showed you before you can make a really nice looking grill and you can even make it work if you set it up below similarly to what we've done here I just didn't really have enough space to do so but using furnaces and droppers you could actually make this a functional grill which is pretty cool but it's a very nice design on the back we've actually got a real furnace here to kind of represent some sort of gas tank I guess and it actually is reachable which is pretty cool and then hoppers if you'd rather just store your food so yeah up next we have kind of an odd design it's kind of more of a, uh, I, I don't really know. <laughs> I guess it's just a wall made out of trap doors. I think it looks pretty cool though. It's basically something similar to like a shutter door, I guess. But it's really nice to be able to put tree leaves against it because it just kind of looks like a nice vine wall. Kind of a fencing that you might find on an exterior detail. So yeah, I recommend playing with that because it is pretty cool. But up next we have a very common design. Uh, that is 1.13 ready. It is essentially a sea pickle on top of a pumpkin and or melon to get that nice stem look. I think that looks pretty cool and it even emits light, I believe, unless that's only underwater. Either way, I think that definitely adds to the overall shape. Now these two are the last two designs we have. These are actually really cool. This one is kind of a hanging swing design, which is pretty nifty. You can hang that in your front yard of your build against the tree and kind of get a nice little you know, family home look to it, which is pretty cool. 
and uh, not really much to say other than the fact that we have another use for the trap doors there. And then of course I've used these gates here on the side to kind of hold it in. Now this design is a huge one. I gotta say thank you to Biggs87X for this because this is a design that I actually got from him and I've used it ever since. This is a really, really cool campfire design and I really recommend you use it if you haven't already. Essentially, this is just a whole bunch of skeletons, or skeleton heads rather, placed on player heads. And using pistons, you can push them all down, or the grass down rather, on top of them to get really nice looking stones. Now I've seen a lot of campfire designs, but this is the only one I've ever seen that really fits the overall theme of Minecraft. So I really recommend you guys give this a shot because it is honestly one of my favorite designs, if not my absolute favorite exterior detail. But that is basically it for today's video, guys. Now, I did do all of this for a reason. Next week, I'm going to be releasing a video on how exactly to do interior design. So I really recommend you check that out. Hopefully by now, there will be a link in the description. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I got to say, big shout out to my buddy Grian because he's done a couple of videos just like this one. And I really don't want to just copy him. Uh, but this is very similar to his format. So I really recommend you guys go check out his channel if you haven't already and see his furniture videos because they're honestly uh, full of really, really cool designs and a lot of different designs from what we've got here. I tried to stay original at least a little bit. <laughs> but guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy and let me know what you would like to see next on this channel. And guys, that is going to do it. My name, of course, is System Z. You guys have been awesome and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.